presentation or talking to your boss in the elevator, there are five secrets to being a confident speaker. First, there's your stance. Second, your sound. Third, smile. Fourth, silence. And fifth, your sight. First, your stance. When you're speaking, you need to have a nice, firm stance. Your feet should be about hip width apart, not too wide and not too close. We want to have our feet firmly planted on the ground. No crossing of the legs, no swaying back and forth, no dancing backwards and forwards, no pacing side to side, and by all means, no popping of the hip. <laughs> Once we have that firm, stable stance, we need to then stand up nice and tall to have a length in our torso, but our shoulders relaxed, to increase the distance between our shoulders and our ears, and to imagine the top of our head has a string going right to the ceiling, making us stand taller than usual. What do we do with our arms? The question every new speaker has. Keep them in a neutral position at your side. Don't clasp in front or behind. Don't do this defensive move. And when they're at your side, then you can use them freely to gesture and add impact to your speech. If you're standing behind a lectern, be careful not to grasp onto the lectern for dear life. This can cause you to bend over, impacting your posture negatively. It'll prevent you from doing any gestures. And you might tap on it or make other distracting noises. So if you do need to use the lectern for your notes, make sure that you are not touching it and that you are gesturing. We've talked about your stance. Now let's talk about your sound. When you are giving a speech, that great stance is the basis for phenomenal projection. It will allow you to speak from your diaphragm and fill the room with sound. Make sure that you really lower those shoulders because when we get nervous, which most of us are when we speak, we tend to make those shoulders go higher and higher and higher towards our ears. Our voice gets higher and higher and faster and faster, and it doesn't help our presentation. Relax those shoulders, lower that voice, and make sure that you speak in a slow, understandable pace. When we're working with sound, also think about having variations. Add interest to your speech with sound. Use a high tone and a low tone. Speak slow and really, really fast. Yell and whisper. These will add a dynamic nature to your speech, making you look very confident. We talked about stance and your sound. Now we have to talk about your smile. This is an extension of your sound because people who are smiling sound more pleasant. They're great to listen to. You might think that you'll look cheesy and silly smiling through a speech, but you will not. You will look friendly, you will look confident, and you will look at ease as a speaker, even if you're really nervous on the inside. No one has to know. Put on a big smile when you give a speech, so long as it is appropriate to your topic. Now onto the fourth S, silence. How is silence something that a confident speaker does? In our culture, we like to fill every single moment with sound. We don't like to pause. Between sentences, we add words like and, so the entire speech is one long run on. We should prevent that. And when we lose our train of thought or need to think of what we want to say next, we often fill that time with um, ah, like, you know, other mouth sounds. This doesn't make us look professional, prepared, or polished. Use silence. It is your best friend. Lastly, your sight. What I mean by sight is what about when you're looking out at the audience? Making eye contact is an important part of being a great, confident speaker. You need to hold that eye contact just like you would in a one-on-one -on -one conversation to establish rapport with your audience. You might feel that it's too long, five to seven seconds in a speech, but that's exactly what you should do. It'll 
decrease the distance, if you will, between the speaker and the audience. Make sure that you don't scan back and forth without making any lasting contact on members of your audience. Also, make sure you don't do the hunt and peck, that's what I call it, where you look at two people over and over and ignore the rest of the crowd. Maybe those people are smiling and nodding, but you need to make an effort to establish eye contact with all parts of the room. By all means, ignore the advice you might have received at some point where someone said, if you're nervous, all you need to do is just stare at the back wall of the room and it'll be the easiest speech you ever gave. Well, it'll also be the worst speech because no one in your audience will be involved and engaged because you won't be making eye contact with them. We have talked about today the five S's. They are stance, sound, smile, silence, and sight. If you apply these principles, you will be a confident speaker the next time you're giving a formal speech or your elevator speech. Mr. Toastmaster. <laughs>